Today we have a new lesson for third intermediate upstream three unit 10. Lesson 10 E time to complain. Objectives to identify faulty issues in different items. To identify a complaint letter layout. To write a complaint letter following the right layout. Task 1. Read the dialogue between a mother and her daughter and think how can this problem can be solved. Let's start reading the dialogue together. Mom, what's wrong, Miriam? The pair of trainers that I have ordered last week arrived in a wrong size. What shall I do, Mom? Don't worry, honey. We can solve that easily. That's great. How can we do that? All we have to do is to... Now, my dear students, can you think what's the mother's solution for this problem? Yes, they will write a complaint letter. Today our lesson will be about a complaint letter. Let's start our lesson doing the first task. Task two, take the possible faults for each item in the table on the next slide. You might take more than one fault. What might be wrong? Here, my dear students, you have a form with different faulties or problems and different items. The items are smartphone, t-shirt, tablet, pizza, vase, bag, smartwatch. And let's go through the faulty together. The touch screen is responding slowly. There are some missing buttons. It's overcooked. It's torn. It had some missing parts, accessories. The color has faded. The screen is cracked or scratched. It doesn't char charge accurately. It shrank when I washed it. It isn't what I have ordered. There are holes in it. Its camera is damaged. These are the faulties or problems and these are the items. Go through them. I'll give you time, two minutes to do this task. Go through the problems and the items. And as I told you before, you can take more than one faulty for each item. Let's check the answers. Now, we will check the answers together. These are the text. The touch screen is responding slowly can be for the smartphone, tablet, smartwatch. There are some missing buttons. It can be for the tablet and also the bag. It's overcooked, it can be for pizza. It's torn for the t-shirt and bag. It has some missing parts or accessories. It can be for the smartphone, tablet, bag, smartwatch. The color has faded for the t-shirt. And the screen is cracked or scratched. It can be for smartphone and tablet and smartwatch. It doesn't charge accurately. Smartphone, tablet, smartwatch. It shrank when I washed it. It can be for the t-shirt only. And also, it isn't what I have ordered. It can be, of course, for all the items. There are holes in it can be for the t-shirt 
and the vase and the bag. Last one, its camera is damaged as for the smartphone and the tablet. In this task, we introduce some faulties or problems and the items that you may order and you have these problems in them. Let's go on in our lesson. Now, my dear students, let's look closer at a letter, a complaint letter, but we are going to look at it in two paragraphs. Let's start with the first paragraph. Read, then answer the questions. Paragraph one. Dear sir, madam, I'm writing to complain about a laptop which I recently bought from your shop in Aurora Mall. These are the two questions you have to think about the answers for them from this part. Question one, why is Mona writing a letter of complaint? Where did she buy it from? Let's go to the second paragraph. Paragraph two. On 19th April, I bought teen laptop from your shop. Unfortunately, it seems to be faulty. When I tried to use the charger, it didn't work. The questions, when did she buy it? What make is it? What is the problem? It's more information about the item you bought. Paragraph three, I would appreciate if you could replace it with another one of the same make. I have enclosed copies of my invoice and guarantee. I look forward to your reply. Please contact me on 987-6544321, Monday to Wednesday, 10 till 4 o'clock. What does she want to be done? What's her contact number or address? And when they can contact her? These are the three parts in a complaint letter. A complaint letter. These are the paragraphs in a complaint letter. Before we read it into pieces, now we are going to go through it as a whole complaint letter. Let's, my dear students, start reading and analyzing the letter together. Dear sir, madam, this is the opening of the letter. Paragraph one, as I told you, I am writing to complain about a laptop. So who's writing the letter? Mona Adel. Why she is writing the letter? Yes, to complain about a laptop she bought recently. From where she bought it? from a shop in Aurora Mall. And the second paragraph, my dear students, on 19th April, this is the date. You have to mention in your complaint letter the date. When did you buy the item? I bought teen laptop from your shop. Unfortunately, it seems to be faulty. When I tried to use the charger, it didn't work. You have to mention the problem in the second paragraph also. Paragraph three, what do you want from the shop you bought from them the item? I would appreciate if you could replace it with another one of the same make. I have enclosed copies of my invoice and guarantee. You should mention this in the third paragraph. I look forward to reply. Also, you have to mention how can they contact you and when. This is very important, the last paragraph. At the end, as this letter is formal letter, you have to end it with yours faithfully. You have to sign it and write your full name. This is what we call it a complaint letter. Let's have more practice on this. 
these are the paragraphs as I explained before. Paragraph 1, 2, 3. This is the opening before you have Dear Sir, Madam, Paragraph 1, Paragraph 2, Paragraph 3, and the ending rem remarks here at the end of the letter. This is what we call a complaint letter. Now, my dear students, let's move on with our lesson, task three. Here, you have a layout of a complaint letter. Paragraph one, opening remarks. Paragraph two, main body. And paragraph three, closing remarks. Here you have the parts of the paragraph. We want to match each paragraph with its information that is included in each paragraph. For example, information of how they can contact. In which paragraph we can write this information? What you want to be done about the problem? In which paragraph? The reason why you are writing important facts about your purchase. And last one, details about what the problem is. I'll give you time to think and to match in the right paragraph. Let's check our answers. Paragraph one, the reasons why you are writing the letter. Paragraph two, details about what the problem is. Again, and paragraph two, important facts about your purchase. Paragraph three, what you want be done about the problem and information of how they can contact you. This is the layout of a complaint letter. Task four. My dear students, let's read the question together. On 20th March, you bought a dress from the teen shop on the avenues, but when you washed it, the color had faded. Write a letter of complaint to the shop manager asking for a refund. Here is the letter with the blanks. You started with dear sir and madam, and paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three. And in the end, you have to sign your name, of course. These are some clues to help you to write the letter. I'll give you two minutes to do this task.
Now, my dear students, let's check your answers together. Thank you, my dear students, and see you next lesson.